Here at the Infographics Show, we run an annual episode highlighting the world's most powerful militaries for that year, and recently we've even been breaking it down by regions such as our top 10 strongest militaries in Europe. But what about the guys on the other end of the scale? What about the smallest militaries in the world? Today, it's time to show some love to the little guys as we find out which countries have the smallest militaries anywhere in the world. Number 15. Lesotho Lesotho is a tiny nation that's completely surrounded by the territory of South Africa, making it only one of three nations in the world that's completely enveloped within another country. It has a population of 2 million people and operates both an army and a tiny air force made up of a few transport helicopters and two small turboprop cargo planes. Because Lesotho's security is maintained by South Africa, the Lesotho Defense Force, as it's known, is mainly focused on internal security and has been responsible for numerous government coups, the most recent being in 2014. Today, the LDF numbers between 2 and 3,000 personnel and operates no heavy equipment. Number 14. Suriname Suriname is a country that most people living in the Western Hemisphere forget even exists. And we're speaking from experience. Situated on the northeastern Atlantic coast of South America, Suriname is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the north, French Guiana to the east, Guyana to the west, and Brazil to the south, and has a population of just over half a million people. The tiny nation is the smallest in South America and is a product of Dutch colonization efforts. It remained a constituent state of the Netherlands until November 25, 1975, when Suriname declared independence and the Dutch were like, sure, why not? After feeding the coffers of the Netherlands for centuries as a sugar plantation worked by slaves and Asian indentured servants, letting Suriname become independent was really the least the Dutch could do. The Suriname National Army consists of a single light infantry battalion, a small special forces corps, a staff support arm, and a military police corps. Altogether, the Suriname military numbers at around 2,000 soldiers. The Surinamese Air Force operates three search and rescue helicopters, and their Navy and Coast Guard operate a small fleet of fast patrol boats meant to fight piracy and protect Surinamese fisheries. The nation receives some military aid from the Netherlands, and the United States often sends personnel to help train the Surinamese military. Recently, as China has sought to expand its influence closer to the U.S. shores and seek allies, it sent large amounts of aid to the Surinamese government in the form of military hardware. Number 13. Luxembourg A tiny, landlocked country in Europe bordered by both France and Germany, Luxembourg has suffered greatly thanks to two German invasions in two world wars. Despite having a tiny military of about 1,500 soldiers, Luxembourg's armed forces are quite ferocious and have seen fighting everywhere from Korea to Afghanistan. The Army of Luxembourg consists of support and training staff along with two companies of light infantry, which operate two up-armored Humvees armed with 50 caliber machine guns. Luxembourg's special forces consist of two platoons who specialize in recon and are an active part of NATO's allied mobile force. Number 12. Equatorial Guinea a small country on the west coast of West Africa, the Republic of Equatorial Guinea has a population of 1.2 million and is ruled over by a president who holds the nation in an iron grip. Per the UN, the Republic has one of the worst human rights records in the world and has taken no steps to address these issues. It's however one of the greatest oil producers in sub-Saharan Africa, and yet oil companies who set up operation in the country all hired their own security forces due to a lack of faith in the Guinean military. With an estimated force of 1,450 soldiers, the Guinean military is split among an army, navy, and small air force. Despite having a number of Soviet-built tanks and APCs, none of them are operational. And the same goes for the four Su-25 fighter aircraft that the Air Force operates. The military suffers from very poor discipline and has little if any competency, as most of the commanding officers in the military are all relatives of the current president. Number 11. East Timor East Timor, or the Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste, is located in Southeast Asia and occupies half of the island of Timor. We'll let you figure out which side. The small nation also claims several nearby islands and has a population of about 1.1 million people. East Timor was originally colonized by the Portuguese in the 16th century and got its independence November 28, 1975. Nine days later, however, the Indonesian military invaded the country and occupied it, declaring it a province of Indonesia the next year. East Timor would become the first sovereign state of the 21st century when Indonesia relinquished control and the nation joined the UN on May 20, 2002. 
The Timor-Leste Defense Force numbers at around 1,300 soldiers and is made up of an army with a naval component. The army consists of two light infantry battalions and a military police platoon, which are all armed only with small arms and have neither heavy vehicles or crew-served weapons. The naval component is equipped with five small patrol boats meant to fight piracy and protect local fisheries. Number 10. Bahamas the world's premier vacation go-to hotspot is located in the Caribbean, and due to pretty much everyone in the world being pretty cool with the Bahamas, has traditionally had little need for a military. Thus, the Bahamian military is solely made up of a navy, which is tasked with protecting fisheries, combating piracy, and aiding in search and rescue and disaster relief operations. With about 1,300 soldiers, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force is the largest Caribbean military, and operates 10 patrol vessels and one landing craft. A small air wing of one Super King Air patrol craft and one Cessna 208B transport supplement the Navy's capabilities and aid in reconnaissance of territorial waters. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahamas military is Queen Elizabeth II, due to the nation's status as a Commonwealth realm similar to Canada and Australia. The RBDF has only been involved in combat one time, when in 1980 one of its patrol craft attempted to arrest two Cuban fishing ships poaching in their waters. The Cuban ships called for help and Cuba sent two MiG-21s, which strafed the patrol boat with their 23mm cannons, and then returned to fire on the crew members who had tried to swim away from the sinking ship. The poachers were eventually caught and convicted, and Cuba paid the Bahamas $10 million for the sinking of the ship. Number 9. Cape Verde a small nation made up of a string of volcanic islands off the coast of Africa, Cape Verde has a population of just over half a million. The nation has its roots in the 15th century, when it was discovered and settled by Portuguese explorers and thrived until the end of the transatlantic slave trade in the 19th century. With no natural resources, Cape Verde has a service and tourism-focused economy and has been a stable democracy since 1990 and is one of the most developed and democratic countries in Africa. The Cape Verdean Armed Forces number at 1,200 and is made up of a National Guard and a Coast Guard. The National Guard consists of a large military police corps and a much smaller corps of Marines and artillery. Despite having only 10 Soviet-made BRDM-2 APCs, the artillery corps is equipped with 36 self-propelled guns, ranging from 75 to 82 millimeters, and six mortars used to support their Marines. A small air corps of three patrol aircraft and two utility helicopters support a fleet of three patrol vessels and one light cruiser. Number 8. Barbados A small Caribbean nation, Barbados has enjoyed a long cooperative relationship with the U.S. military and the two nations' militaries regularly engage in training exercises together, with the U.S. providing equipment and training to its much smaller neighbor. Its military consists of just over 1,000 service members and is known as the Barbados Defense Force. The military is split into three main components. The Barbados Regiment, made up of light infantry units, the Coast Guard, which operates a number of small patrol vessels and is tasked with search and rescue and drug interdiction, and the Cadet Corps, which oversees the training of future military officers. An air wing consisting of two patrol aircraft was retired in 1985, but today the BDF is looking to acquire aircraft once more and re-establish its air wing. Number 7. Gambia Earning its independence from the UK in 1965, Gambia is a small African country located on the northwest coast of the Great Continent. A nation completely surrounded by its larger neighbor Senegal, there has been historically little need for a Gambian military as its security is directly tied to Senegal itself. After independence, a field force of a few hundred men, a paramilitary arm of the police, was set up, though a standing military was created after members of the field force executed a coup d'etat in 1981 which was promptly defeated by a Senegal force of 500 men. Today, the Gambian military is split up into the Gambian National Army and the Gambian Navy, with a small detachment known as the National Republican Guard, mostly responsible for presidential guard duties. The army is made up of two light infantry battalions and is equipped with 12 armored cars and might possess one M101 howitzer. The Navy is responsible for protecting Gambian fisheries and is made up of several small patrol vessels. In 2002, Gambia explored the possibility of creating an air force and sent pilots to be trained by Ukraine, and then purchased a Sukhoi Su-25 from Georgia the next year. However, the program was soon cancelled and the Air Force was never established. Number 6. Seychelles An island country in the West Indian Ocean, Seychelles is made up of 115 islands. It proclaimed its independence from the United Kingdom in 1976 and has become one of Africa's most prosperous nations, even being listed as a high-income economy by the World Bank. 
Unfortunately, high levels of income inequality has created a large amount of poverty within the nation. The Seychelles People's Defense Force numbers at 420 and consists of a company of light infantry, a coast guard and air force, and a presidential protection unit. The PDF operates no heavy equipment and the coast guard operates a number of small gunboats and patrol boats. The air force consists of four aircraft, all of them for search and rescue and recon. Number 5. Antigua and Barbuda A country in the West Indies, Antigua and Barbuda consists of two major islands, one named obviously enough Antigua and the other Barbuda, along with a number of smaller islands. Home to many seasonal citizens who own vacation properties in the nation, the permanent population numbers just shy of 100,000. Originally explored by Christopher Columbus in 1493, the islands were then colonized by Britain in 1632. Independence was granted by the United Kingdom on November 1, 1981, though it remains a member of the British Commonwealth, and thus Queen Elizabeth II technically remains the country's queen and head of state. The Royal Antigua and Barbuda Defense Force numbers at 260 and is made up of four major units, the Antigua and Barbuda Regiment, which is comprised of four light infantry companies, a service and support unit, and a coast guard equipped with several small patrol craft and one point-class cutter donated by the U.S. Coast Guard. A small cadet corps oversees the training of future military officers. Despite their small size, Antigua and Barbuda have sent military forces three different times to assist other nations. Once in 1983, when 14 soldiers were deployed in support of the U.S. in Grenada during Operation Urgent Fury. In 1990, when 12 soldiers were sent to Trinidad and Tobago after a failed coup attempt there. And in 1995, when a small contingent was sent to Haiti in support of the U.S.-led UN-mandated Operation Uphold Democracy after a military coup threw out the elected president. Number 4. Iceland Iceland is the only NATO member that maintains no standing military and instead employs a force of 250 sailors in its Icelandic Coast Guard. During times of crisis, though, elements of its police force become activated into military service, and Iceland maintains an elite counterterrorism unit also trained in special operations warfare tactics. Iceland also maintains the Icelandic Crisis Response Unit, which is responsible for expeditionary peacekeeping operations and is made up of members of the National Police, the Coast Guard, Emergency Services, and Healthcare System. Because of the nature of the ICRU's missions, which include ongoing deployment in Afghanistan and Iraq, all members receive basic infantry training. The Icelandic Coast Guard is equipped with four large patrol vessels equipped with cannons and anti-air weapons. It also operates one recon and search and rescue aircraft and three utility helicopters. As a key strategic partner for the U.S. due to its location, Iceland and the U.S. cooperate closely in anti-submarine warfare capabilities, and Iceland forms one end of the all-important anti-submarine net that was meant to deny Soviet subs access to the Atlantic. Number 3. Haiti a very troubled nation, Haiti officially disbanded its military in 1995 due to dozens of military coups and the intervention of the military in Haitian politics. In 2017, however, President Jovenel Moïse remobilized the military, creating the armed forces of Haiti. Today, the Haitian military consists of a national police force and a coast guard, and both elements cooperate closely with the U.S., who provides material and training aid. The Coast Guard operates 19 small vessels and is responsible for drug interdiction, search and rescue, and disaster relief operations. Number 2. Palestine A very troubled country, Palestine operates a military known as the Palestinian National Security Forces, and yet due to a lack of clarity on what elements of the Palestinian parliamentary are responsible for what, there's no official number on the size of Palestine's military. Not truly possessing a standing army, the PNSF is mostly responsible for various duties, including the apprehension of terrorists and militants and security for high-ranking politicians. The PNSF has been criticized numerous times for aiding terrorism, while at other times has actively aided Israel in apprehending terrorists it itself arrested and then released so that Israeli forces could extradite them. Number 1. Libya Thanks to an ongoing civil war, the size and scope of the Libyan armed forces are impossible to estimate, and given that a sizable portion of the military defected in order to fight on the side of the rebels at the start of the hostilities, which group, the current government or the rebels, is truly in command of the nation is a bit of a murky point. What is known about the capabilities of the Libyan military, though, is it operates a number of helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft as well as a quickly diminishing number of tanks which are destroyed or seized by rebels. Wrapped up as it is in a desperate battle for survival, the Libyan military is wholly reliant on the support of nations such as Russia for survival. And unable as it is to enforce national sovereignty, it is for all intents and purposes one of the weakest militaries in the world. 
What other nations do you know of with tiny militaries? Do some nations just not need a military at all? Let us know in the comments, and as always if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.